Black Friday 2010. The quaint community of Grand Chute, Wisconsin was gearing up for their once a year sales event and Menard's home improvement store was ready to dish out the savings. Thousands of hopeful shoppers had waited hours in the freezing cold, hoping to fill their carts with home improvement items that would not only improve their homes, but also improve their dull lives. But this Black Friday, an event that began with unbelievable savings, soon turned into unbelievable mayhem. Mariah had waited hours to scoop up her electric heaters and large ladybug pillows and was ready to check out. Mentally, that is. What caused this Black Friday freakout? Who was to blame? Alleged bystander and amateur filmmaker Trisha Sherkowski witnessed the events unfold. I see this woman, she pulls her car back to let this other woman through. And when she starts walking through, she ends up getting in line. And I'm standing there and I've got my cart full. I mean, this was not a job for the Harleys. This was a job for the Silverado, you know? Mike and I had planned it out. Everybody's got everything in their cart that they need and they're not coming back to Menards until next Christmas, okay? Mariah's shopping cart would never make it to the cashier. In fact, she would be thrown out of the store only to have her shopping cart looted by her fellow shoppers. Menard's manager, Max Karcheski, was working that fateful day when he tried to stop the retail witch hunt. I came across these two ladies. They were having some sort of ruckus. And uh, I sided with the, naturally, I sided with the more attractive one. Uh, so uh, Joe pulls her to the side and I, I get a toaster thrown at my head. And um, the lady that was there, she was talking smack the whole time. And I said, Jesus, and the great Aaron Rodgers, this is an awful situation. I thought I had to call the police. And we did at some point. I, I, did, I didn't know if I was going to come home to my wife that night. That's the truth. With the Menards manager on her side, why did Mariah give up her prized possessions? Who was to blame? Mariah's sister Stacy knew Mariah was a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Oh well, Mariah became famous on the internet for being, you know, herself. She's always had this complex about being first. She was born first, she got her license first, she went to college first, and she didn't want to be a badger. So, you know, she came back from her fancy college and she thought, you know, let's go to Black Friday. And of course she had to be first in line. Mariah never reached the checkout line that day, but she did reach a deal. Sentenced to her by the Grand Shoot justice system. Of course she was guilty. They had her on camera. What do, what do you expect me to do? But I did keep her out of jail and I got her community service. <laughs> Cleaning up trash after the game outside of Lambeau Field. That's not a punishment. That's an honor. And that's how I'll serve you at Brooke Smith and Cherbosky Law Firm. Mariah served her community service time, and although she was banned for life from Menards, she plans on returning someday. I grab my cart, I'm putting everything in my cart. All of a sudden, there's just attitude. There's just, everybody's giving me attitude. It's like, well, who the fuck are you? Well, who the fuck are you? I got in line just like you did, you know? Get out of my face. You know, I got two kids at home and they're waiting for their ladybug pillows, you know, and uh, and they're waiting for, for mom to get home and, you know, feed them the goods, you know, feed them. At my community service <laughs> was a real joke. I was over at uh, Lambo picking up, right? The only thing that got picked up was me. All the packers were trying to pack this. So it was baby number three on the way, 69, if you know what I'm saying. Playboy, here I come, or here someone on me. 